A disturbing sex case in Hernando County. The bravery of a child putting a stop to a football coach's alleged sexual encounters with a young girl. The coach is now locked up after confessing to having sex with a student in his classroom. News Channel 8's Corey Davis is live in Hernando County where parents are understandably very shaken up by the graphic details of this case. Good evening, Jen. And yeah, parents are also disgusted, too, that a 34-year-old man had sex with a girl in his classroom at Fox Chapel Middle School. 34-year-old Marcus Wells locked up, confessing to having sex with a girl in his classroom at Fox Chapel Middle School. Trusted to do his job as an in-school suspension monitor, Wells had sex with the girl eight times at the school. Parents in disbelief. I'm really scared about it because I have a lot of girls in school. I got two in high school and two over here. Monica De Leon says she's now questioning everything. It's very scary to know that you cannot trust the teacher or anybody. The Hernando County Sheriff revealing that the sexual encounters went on for two weeks, ending last Friday. Deputies found out after a child told the school resource officer that Wells was having an inappropriate relationship with the victim. Uh, this young person is very courageous, and uh, I commend that person. The superintendent tells us that Wells passed a background check and as it stands now district employees who are cleared are allowed to be alone with the child her message to parents I think that um, it, it's um, extremely disheartening and that they need to um, make sure that they speak to their children and echoing that message the sheriff says he doesn't believe there are any other victims out there but he did tell us that uh, Wells was involved in community activities, possibly with the church, and he was a football coach. So the sheriff wants all parents to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with kids who might have encountered Wells. Jen? Truly horrifying for anybody who has a child at that school. Do we know about a punishment? How much prison time comes with this kind of crime? Well, Jen, I found out today, actually from a state prosecutor who was working this case, she told me that new legislation has been passed extending uh, the long the time of a sentence that someone could have for committing a crime like this. So right now, Wells is facing up to life in prison if he's found guilty. Corey Davis, live in Hernando County. Thank you.